Okay, it comes to this. We're back with more of Majora's Mask 3D, and previously we've completed the Anjo and Kefei quest. Although the good news is that this time, no template for this one. This is the final episode, and we're prepared. So if you guys notice on the bottom screen, which I'm seeing right now, I have 19 hearts, and I went overkill. Literally overkill. I even packed the Chateau Romani because we're going to need it. It's not like you're going to need it, mind you. Trust me, it's not like you're going to need it, but it wouldn't hurt. So for this final one, we're going to be packing ourselves some serious firepower. And yeah, let's drink up this Chateau Romani so we can get unlimited magic. Okay, so now that we get that done, now let's pick the Great Fairy Sword. I don't need to say anything else. It's time for us to hit midnight and settle this. Nobody's around, but that won't make a difference. Let's do this. Sis! Tail! Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here! Ow! Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. That's it! I won't let things go the way you expect them to! Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it! Oh, is that right? Time to bring a little oath in order.
believe it. They did it! It... it stopped! We did it! It stopped! Sis! Tail! Good. We made it in time. The giant's call were from the Skull Kid. Hey, Skull Kid! Do you realize what you've been doing to everyone? Wait, sis, don't. Don't be so hard on the Skull Kid. Tail, why are you protecting him? Aren't you mad at him for hitting you so much? He was lonely, Skull Kid. He was trying to destroy everything around him. That is not the same as a lonely child. We can't allow that! The power of the mask made him do it. It was too much for the Skull Kid to handle. It's because he doesn't know his place. On top of having a weak will and no strength of heart, he's a fool. Certainly. He had far too many weaknesses to use my power. Yeah, that's right. Admit your stupidity. Huh? What the? You gotta be kidding me. A puppet that can no longer be used is mere garbage. This puppet's role has just ended. It can't be! Then that moon! Unfortunately, things just went from bad to worse. I... I shall consume, consume, consume everything! Oh boy, this is bad. Wah! This isn't good! Let's go back! Let's go back! Hurry! The song of time! The song of time! No. Not this time. Oh no. You've got to be kidding. Don't tell me you're going up there! I won't do it! I'm staying here with Tail! You are by yourself! I'll go. What? What are you saying, Tail? Is something wrong with you? I don't want to always be running away. If only I had been stronger, the Skull Kid wouldn't have... I understand. I'll go. After all this time, Tail, you've gotten really stubborn. Just like someone else I know. You know, you guys are really stupid. We don't have a choice now! Let us head for the moon itself! We have a world to save. What kind of place is this? This must be the inside of the moon itself, but it seems so... peaceful. A bit too peaceful for my taste. And look at these kids. All of them contain masks based off bosses we've been already defeated. Including the one kid that has Majora's Mask. But the weirdest thing about this is that all of them look like young versions of the Happy Mask Salesman. Ah, nice weather, isn't it? Masks, you have a lot. You too. Will you be a Mask Salesman? I knew it. Then I'll play with you. So, the masks, give me some. All we can give them right now is just one mask, but as we progress, They'll ask for more. Thanks. You... You're a nice person, aren't you? Hide and seek. Let's play. Alright. I'll... Hide. He hides, and we have to find him. Oh, joy. Absolute joy. Okay, so this right here is the Oldawa Kids Playground. It has this atmosphere from the first dungeon, the Woodfall Temple. Like I said, the first dungeon, it really does fit the atmosphere for this game. And the world of Termina itself. Alright, nice. That was a bit too close for my taste. Okay, now! Yeah, we have to time the jumps high. Wait for it. Now! Yeah, because we need to get ourselves a piece of heart. Unfortunately, we're close enough. Yeah, there are four heart pieces left we need to get, and this here is heart piece number 49. And we have to wait a little bit. And I think I kind of made a false start there. Or not! 
Nice. Wow, I actually made it with just unscathed. That was impressive. Alright, that takes care of this here. Found you. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. Pretentious, ain't ya? Here's another. <laughs> Thanks. You're nice. Nice? People say I'm a bit too nice for my taste. And we've already given two of our masks to the child with the Aldoa mask. Um, can I ask a question? Your friends. What kind of people are they? I wonder, do those people think of you as a friend? That's a bit difficult to say because, to be honest, I don't really have that many friends. When I was younger, I used to have a lot of them. But now, I have very little. Mostly because I'm always so closed up. But with Link, that is something even I don't know. Either way, we've already completed one part done, and now we move on to the next one. That's this one right here. And now he's going to be asking the same thing. Only this time, we have to give him two. More. And it's going to keep going, trust me. And now he wants us to play hide and seek as well. Now we move on to the second one. This one is the Got Kids Playground. And it bears similarities to Stonehead Temple. And this one's going to require a lot of work with Gorn Link. And I mean a lot. This is one of the few dungeons, like these playgrounds, where you have to do it again. See what I mean? Yeah, because if you mess up, you start back from the beginning. But you don't have to worry since you don't, like, suffer any penalties. Once you hit full speed, just gently like tap left and right on the analog. Yeah, because that's all you need to do for the rest of the way. And we're about to hit the intercept port. Turn bank right! Nice. Oh, good. I don't know if I was going to make it, mind you. Though I wonder if that was a bad idea. Yeah, it was. Alright, let's try this again. Let's pray this time I actually get it to work. Because if not, I'm going to be a bit upset. Yeah, you also have to use le move left or right gently so that way you'll be able to reach it. And, nice. Now you got to do is bank right. And you gotta bank right again. Left. Once you see those masks, hit the brakes! Yeah, you have to press the A button to hit the brakes. You have to set it. Now you have to be at a certain position so that way you'll be able to pull this off. And. Nice. Now we got full throttle. Okay. And there you go. The rest of the way gets us to the heart piece. And hit the brake. And there you go, you hit piece of heart number 50. Though trying to get to the exit right there is a little tricky on itself. We need to be at a certain position to do this. Yeah, I always say you have to be at a certain position, because if you mess up, expect to do this again. See what I mean? Yeah, let's try this again. Let's hope this time I can get this done right. Yeah, because this is actually a very difficult challenge. Yeah, you don't have to like press much or anything, but just you need to concentrate. Okay, and hit the brakes! Why do we have to hit the brakes here? Because if you've already gotten the heart piece, you could just basically go through around here. Just make sure you avoid this teleporter here, or you're gonna you're gonna like fail. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Man, that was an ordeal. Found him. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. Fine, here's more masks for you. We have to give them two. More. Pretentious, aren't you, kid? <laughs> Thanks. You're nice. And let me tell you, I really don't like this one. 
This kid really is persistent. We are gotten have to give up four masks. Um, can I ask a question? You... What makes you happy? I wonder. What makes you happy? Does it make others happy too? Well, that's a bit difficult. I don't know why, but Majora's Mask seems to inflict like a lot of heavy tone. And we're running low in masks, so now we're going to be using the Zora Masks. Only two of these left, and then we can tackle the final big boss. And for this one, we talk to this guy. Yeah, and it's the same as before, except this time, he asks for three! More. More. Thanks. And now let's play hide and seek. Now we move on to the Gyor Kid. And this one involves some serious watery tunnels. Though the timing of this is going to be rather strict and tough, since timing is everything. Okay, so we're going to get a Zora Mask, and since we have unlimited magic, I think we'll manage. And they do provide us some um, more of it. Okay. And a whole lot of luck, I tell you. Aim for the left one. Yeah, the one that have fishes will tell you right away. And you're gonna have to time it up right. Yeah, but if you mess up, you have to do it again. So, the timing's strict. Oh boy. Okay, once you hit the switch, that means the clock's ticking. Yeah, you're gonna need the Hyper Dash for it. But since you have unlimited magic, you can use it as much as you need to. And... now! Nice! That's the first one. But don't let it fool you, because we have two more to go. It begins just like the first. It'll be a little more tougher this time. Dive. Now we gotta hit the switch. And here we go again. Yeah, the clock's ticking right here. Now there are three ones. Aim for the one on the right. That's the one you need to go after. Though we also have to make sure we get to get the piece of heart here. And we didn't. Anyway, let's try this again. Yes, this is just a bit nerve-wracking, I tell you. Anyway, we have to follow the tunnels as before. Okay, let's move. And we're gonna have to be at high speed, too. So for the first one, aim for the left. You have to aim at high speed in order to make it. Nice, that's one. Now let's make it for the second one. Your timing is going to be really important for this. And don't worry, you have unlimited magic, so you'll manage. Aim for the one on the right. The one where the fishes are is where you need to be. And we got to hurry, too, because if it runs out of time and we block the gate, we fail. And we made it! Nice! And that was close, so now we move on to the third one. But for this one, we're going to be going after the piece of heart first. And I'll show you where the piece of heart is. So to get the piece of heart, you have to go to the one in the middle. The, the answer is at the top, but for now, let's head for the middle. Okay, good. All we gotta do is follow the, the tunnel all the way through. And now! And there you go! We obtained piece of heart number 51. And now we have to go all the way back so that. Yeah, nuts. Okay, let's try this again. We already got the heart piece earlier since we have to do it intentionally. 
Oh boy. This is gonna be tough, I tell you. Tough. Yeah, the got one was tough, but this takes a K. It's more difficult because you have to learn more control on your updrafts. Wow, I actually made that one. Okay, so we got the first one done. So far, so good. Okay, good. Now go! Go, go, go! We gotta hit speed up! Let's stay on the right side so that way we can avoid those that spike. Spike bar. Alright. Anyway, yeah, now that we got the heart piece, we don't have to worry about completing this whole thing. Yeah, we have to complete it. As I said, we don't have to, like, go back in the middle and whatnot. Now, for this one, we have to, like, go through it all again. Nerve-wracking. Nerve-wracking, I tell you. And... Now! Nice! That's one down. Alright, now let's take care of this one. Now the switch is gonna open, so now we have to t move, move quick. Excellent, we're moving fast. And we also gotta watch out for those things, those blocks. They'll slow us down. Okay, nervous, I tell you, nervous. Yeah, so much so that my my hands are sweating. All right, that takes care of two. Now let's move on to the third one. And the third one, mind you, is a little tougher. Tougher because of the fact you have to not only do this not once, but twice. Okay. Okay, now we have to head to the top only. Yeah, the camera got a bit finicky, but still, we're okay. Now we gotta do this. Alright. Oh, come on! Yes! You gotta make it. And yes! We did it! Finally! Now we found you! Alright, let's finish this. You found me. And yeah, you want more mass, you'll get more mass. More. Jeez! You really want more mass that bad? You're getting it. And thank goodness, that takes care of this, and now we have to move on to the Twin Mold Kids Playground. We gave him six masks. Um, can I ask a question? The right thing. What is it? I wonder. If you'll do the right thing, does it really make everybody happy? That's a bit difficult to say, mind you. It really is. Anyway, now it's time for us to tackle the last one. Twin Mold. Except this time he's going to be asking for four. And I don't think we really need anything else. We're going to be needing a lot of skill and a lot of luck. So we have the Great Fairy Sword and everything. We're also going to need Bomb Chew. Yeah, I got him off screen, so he's will be taking care of that. Now to find Twin Mold, the last one. Yes, yes, I know. Yeah, we're going to need your mask right now. More. Oh, you got to be kidding me. No, he's actually pretty serious with this. Thanks. And now we play hide and seek. One more time. And all of this is a serious boss rush. Or in this case, a mini boss rush. Okay, so let's move. Through this door. Denophos! Eh, this boss rush isn't that hard. One hit and you're dead. Bye bye. Okay, do I get anything from this? Nah. Well, there is a mask of truth, so. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I need the hook shot. Ow! Yeah, this one's gonna require a lot of timing. 
Oh, this is getting nuts. Got him. You know what? We're going to need the Great Fairy Sword. Let's set that to Y. And hit. Oh, great. Come on. Gotta hit the shield ready. Ah, oh, great. Yeah, that's what you get. Yeah, he's still a pain. And likes being cheap, too. And we get a chest. Alright, nice. Now let's use the hook shot to get up there. And this one will probably give us arrows. Wait. No! Ah, oh, great. Yeah, we got a bundle of 30 arrows. Though, if you, in case you haven't noticed, I have plenty. Okay, moving on to the next one. Our knuckles. Don't worry, we have plenty. Not to mention we have unlimited magic, so we don't have to worry about it one bit. Well, that stinks for you. Come on. Yeah! And he still packs a punch. Man, that took a lot of work. Okay, so let's get the chest that's inside. And we get bomb chews. So for this to work, we need to stand in the middle of the room. Somewhere around here. Now let's pray that it works. Nice, it did! Now let's hit the arrow up top. And that gives us a ladder. Groovy. Let's move it. And this gives us peace of heart number 52. And our lives of life energy is maxed out. Though, what now? Oh yeah, looks like we'll have to like do another bomb chew trick. Has to be right around here. Now! Nice. Now let's switch to fire hours. Excellent. And that takes care of that. And we found you. You found me. Hey, I want more masks. Yeah, time to give him what's left. More. Okay. Okay. Now you're really going too far. Farewell, Bunny Hood. And that's it. That's all there is to it now. We gave up the last eight masks. Um, can I ask a question? Your true face. What kind of face is it? I wonder, the face under the mask, is that your true face? My true face, huh? Well, that's a bit difficult. Well, now that we've got everything we need, I don't think we'll need anything else. We no longer have any masks left, so all that remains now is to get the last mask that's there. And by now, everybody's gone. And if anyone's wondering, no, this is not going to be a two-parter. It's going to be one whole video from start to finish. And I'm making sure that it ends in that matter as well. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Everyone has gone away, haven't they? Will you play with me? You don't have any masks left to share, do you? Well, let's do something else. Let's play good guys against bad guys. Yes, let's play that. And we get the final mask, the Fierce Deities mask. Could this mask's dark power be as bad as Majora? Tremendous power is emanating from within. And this completes it.
We obtain the Fierce Deities Mask. Are you ready? You're the bad guy. And when you're bad, you just run. That's fine, right? Well, shall we play? Let's play. Okay, this is it. Let's do this. time to play around. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm only using the Fierce Deities Mask for the first part of the fight. Yeah, with unlimited magic, you can just wipe the floor with them. Though I could do it like the, for the whole thing, but no, 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 no. That'd be too easy. Ow. But as long as with them, you have the Majora's Mask on, you can't possibly lose. Come on, stop moving! I'm moving so I can whack you! There, that should take care of you! This just now goes into the level of weirdness. And yeah, I'm not going to be using this for this fight. What, had enough yet? Oh, look at this. It's doing the Deadpool walk. <laughs> That's hilarious. And look at him. It's doing the Cossack. <laughs> this is crazy. Ow, 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 ow. That hurts! Oh, nuts. This guy can hurt a lot. Oh, you like to do the moonwalk, eh? Yeah, keep running. Keep running, mate. You're not even worth the effort. <laughs> Just when I thought things can't get worse. Bring it! You may have double whips, but you're not that tough. Just lob a light arrow at him. No. Just make sure you go close enough and whack him. Yeah, it took three tries. And whack. You're done. Majora! Awake! 
<sighs> what happened? Guys, you hadn't forgotten about me? You still thought of me as a friend? Did you save me? Yeah, I did. I thought they didn't want to be friends with me. But they hadn't forgotten about me. <laughs> friends are a nice thing to have. <laughs> Could you be my friend too? He had the same smell as the fairy kid who taught me that song in the woods. I know, I know. Let's do something. Oh, so the evil has left the mask after all. Well now, I finally have it back. Since I am in the midst of my travels, I must bid you farewell. Shouldn't you be returning home as well? Whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. However, that parting need not last forever. Whether a parting be forever or merely for a short time, that is up to you. With that, please excuse me. But my, you sure have managed to make quite a number of people happy. The masks you have are filled with happiness. That is truly a good happiness. Well, both of us have gotten what we were after, so this is where you and I part ways, isn't it? You know, it was kind of fun. Well, it's almost time for the carnival to begin. So why don't you just leave and go about your business? The rest of us have a carnival to go to. Thank you. Okay, now this is just really teary-eyed, I swear. I really did enjoy this ending. It shows after everything you've done, after all the people you've affected, this is what happens in the end. Everyone is happy. Or in some cases, a good in a good way. And I really do enjoy the credits for this. I really have to admit it. I really loved Majora's Mask. Oh, speaking of which, I may as well just provide my final thoughts on the game. Majora's Mask is without a doubt one of my favorite Zelda games I've ever played. The sad truth is that I never finished it. Until now. 
And yeah, now that I finished it, I couldn't feel more happier. I couldn't feel more happier now that I finally were able to finish it and finally were able to understand it. Many say that Majora's Mask is one of the best Zelda games ever, and it's no exception as to why. It truly is one of the best. I can't say it enough. I can't even find a way to convince you enough that you should get it. In my humble opinion, you should! Because it's that much of a fun game. I really mean it. It is so much fun that by the time it's all over and you've beaten it with everything, there will be this sense of satisfaction. There's this sense of satisfaction that you did the impossible, you've saved so many people, you've interacted with so many others, that I feel that in some ways they have found peace, and they have a future to look forward to, just like I do. But only time will tell how my life is going to be. So anyway, I'm going to leave you guys with the credits, because trying to explain it is not going to do it justice. If you want to have this experience, you want to feel the same thing I felt, buy the game. Play it. You will not be disappointed. So that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. I worked really hard on this. And I'll see you guys next time. That's about it. This is Mega Man NG, signing off. Thanks for watching. Peace out. And thank you.